Dani St. James may look every inch the beauty queen, but unlike her fellow contestants, Dani was born a boy. The 21-year-old was born Daniel St. James, and, over the past three years, has been making the transition to become a woman. Now Dani, who has been taking female hormones and dressing as a woman since she was 18 is competing to be crowned Miss Diamond Queen 2013. Dani, from Barry, South Wales, is now competing alongside 11 other contestants in the beauty pageant which takes place in London on Saturday. For just three years ago, Dani was a man called Daniel. It wasn't until she was 18 that she made the decision to leave her life as a man behind and embrace life as a woman. But Dani, a manager at a nightclub in Camden, admits that while she didn't leave her male life behind until she was 18, the transition from man to woman began at an early age. She said, For me the transition to a woman was a gradual process, I grew up playing with girls' toys. I started wearing makeup when I was 11 and I told my parents I was gay when I had my first boyfriend aged 12. When I was 3, my mum brought me a pram, I'd always liked girls toys and I was never interested in sport, action man or anything like that, it never seemed natural to me. I think the first time I realized I was different from other boys was when I was around 8 years old. I'd been invited to a boy's birthday party and all the other boys at the party spent the afternoon playing football in the garden together, while I stayed inside and played with his dog. I hated it. There was always a part of me that knew I was different to other boys my age but it was never an issue. I never felt like I was trapped because my family were very accepting, I had the freedom to be myself. When I was 16 I left school and became a makeup artist, where I started experimenting more with makeup, I gradually wore more and more until I no longer left the house without it. Around 17 I started growing my hair, had hair extensions and began dressing like a woman. But even though I wore women's clothes and makeup every day I still identified myself as a man. When I was 18 I moved to Ibiza where I lived until January this year. It was then, when I was 18, I just realized I was no longer wearing makeup, growing my hair or dressing like a female for any other reason than I felt more comfortable that way. Dani visited a doctor in Ibiza who prescribed her with female hormones, she changed her name from Daniel to Dani, began her life as a woman and hasn't looked back since. Unlike many people diagnosed as transgender, Dani said she didn't face the same gender struggle, she didn't feel like a girl trapped in a boy's body as she was never forced to identify with one gender. Dani was encouraged by her mother Sue to act and do whatever made her happy regardless of whether her behavior was considered characteristically male or female. And Dani said it was the support of her family which enabled her to be confident in her, her own skin. Becoming a woman has never been an issue as my family have always been extremely supportive. I never had any drama surrounding my gender, I was accepted for who I was and I never felt as though I was trapped because I was always free to dress and act as I pleased. I was never bullied for wearing makeup probably because I was confident and happy in my own skin. I told my mum that I was taking female hormones when I was 18 and it wasn't a big deal because I'd already been wearing makeup and dressing like a female, hormones were the next natural step. I keep a photo of myself as Daniel in my purse, it makes me feel proud to see how far I've come. At the moment I am focusing on laser hair removal. There are lots of ways I could enhance my appearance as a woman but at the moment I'm happy with the way I look. I don't hide the fact I'm transgender but I'd prefer to be identified as a woman, I take offense if people notice. I'm lucky that I have quite feminine features so most people never guess I'm transgender. There are many people who go through with the sex change and I'd never say never but I can't see it in my future. I don't feel like I need to have it to be myself. Dani said taking part in the beauty pageant was not only a big step for her but an opportunity to inspire others. 
She said she hoped the pageant would help dispel stereotypes and encourage other transgender people to have the courage to live and act how they feel most comfortable. She said, if someone had told me three or four years ago I'd be competing in a beauty pageant I'd never have believed them. But the closer we get to the event the more I realize how important this could be, how acting as a face for transgender could help so many people. I get so many messages from people, mainly young boys who want tips on how to look more feminine, or some from men older than me asking for advice. I feel very lucky, some people have had to hide it their whole life, some men have even been married with children before they've decided to live their life as a woman. I take a lot of pride in the fact I was never scared, of course there were awkward moments but because I was confident in myself I was never bullied at school and I was always accepted for how I was. Taking part in the beauty pageant is a big deal, I want to help others and inspire them to have the courage to live as they want to. I am very proud of who I am and I am happy to discuss it, I feel lucky because what I am has propelled me into a life I never would have dreamed of. If I'd continue.